Welcome to the easiest recipe series on TikTok, a recipe series where I use lots of shortcuts. And because of this, it can be helpful to people with chronic depression, chronic anxiety, chronic illness that causes chronic pain, a variety of different disabilities that can make it hard for people to stand for long periods of time, or people like me who just don't want to be in the kitchen all day. If you have a problem with any of the things that I choose to cook or the methods in which I choose to cook them, then you can scroll on and kick rocks. This week's series is specifically for people who don't have access to full kitchens. Also, if you are like this commenter and you receive food from the food bank, I'm going to tag a creator down below who has lots of recipes that she specifically caters towards things that you would get from a food bank. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, today is day two of dinners made in a hotel room and today we are making meatloaf in the microwave. Yes. So we're starting with two pounds of ground beef. And I'm just gonna mix it right in this bowl and then cook it in this bowl. But it has been suggested that if you are not a fan of mixing your meatloaf with your hands, you can put it in a Ziploc bag and mix it that way. But I don't have any Ziploc bags. And I don't mind getting my hands dirty, so we're just gonna go with it. So we have two pounds of ground meat. To that, we're gonna add one egg. We're gonna eyeball some breadcrumbs. That looks like about enough. And we're going to use McCormick meatloaf seasoning. And yes, I'm one of those people. You have to put ketchup in your meatloaf or is it really meatloaf? We're gonna eyeball this too. That looks like enough. Now I'm going to mix it with my hands. I am not gonna show myself mixing meat with my hands on the internet because I feel like it's just asking for trolls. So now that that's done, this is what it looks like. We are going to put the lid on and someone asked if it was safe to put this lid on my cookware when it's in the microwave. It has a valve, so it's totally safe. Oh yeah, you're gonna put it in the microwave for 14 minutes pulling it out halfway just to check on it and then come back and i'll show you the next part while that's cooking we're gonna make a glaze for the top and all i have is a plate so i could use the smaller nesting bowl but then i have to wash it so. do a packet of lipton onion seasoning and a good squirt of ketchup and we're gonna mix that together don't come for me it makes a tomato gravy to put on top and when you pull it out of the microwave the second time, this is what it's gonna look like. Go ahead and drain off that grease and then I'll show you the next part. Okay, we're gonna take the sauce, spread it on the top. Then we're gonna put it back in the microwave for another minute. And that's what it looks like when it's done. We're gonna use our microwave rice cooker and into it we are going to put a bag of small red potatoes and also a bag of baby carrots, a heaping tablespoon of butter, I'm gonna do two, and your other packet of onion soup mix, and shake. I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I don't know if I said this earlier, but you're gonna microwave it for 15 minutes. Um, And I mean, it's fine to leave in here, but I'm also gonna make macaroni and cheese and I need this container, so we're gonna dump it out onto a plate. And that's what they look like. These are honestly the best potatoes, like, ever, ever. Like, they're fancy potatoes. And you make them in the microwave. Is anyone else super excited by the vintage packaging that Velveeta has gone back to? Just me? Okay, so you're gonna pour your dough into your microwave rice cooker. You're gonna fill it up until the water covers the pasta, then you're gonna cover it and you're gonna put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. Okay, after you've cooked your pasta for 10 minutes in the microwave and drained it, you're obviously gonna put your cheese on. And because so many people love to tag her in my posts, it doesn't go down easy if it ain't cheesy. Obviously, give it a stir. And as the much more fancy than I am food vloggers like to say, let's plate this up. Can you call it plating it up when you cooked it in the microwave? Yes, yes, you can. So first we have the meatloaf. Look at that, completely cook and delicious some fancy potatoes and carrots and macaroni and cheese and there you go a completely homemade meatloaf dinner all done 
in the microwave. Well, the Velveeta is not homemade, but who can mess with Velveeta? So good. Look at these potatoes. I'm telling you, these are the best potatoes and carrots you will ever have. And you can't mess up Velveeta. As always, let me know if you try it and how you like it.